Hey guys, this is Eric Weingartner with Weingartner Racing. Um, putting on this very special video for you LS guys. I really would like for you guys to subscribe because I would like to make money by shooting small videos on my phone. I'm not going to lie. But I'm going to tell you about this head today and I'm actually going to flow it so you get flow results too. This is a really different head. I've never had a head come in like this before. It's probably going to be the highest head I've, LS head I've flowed on my bench. Should be. Um, in case you're wondering, well, what is it? As you can tell, that ports are raised way up. This is not a dart head. That's what I thought too. It's an LSX and it's a DR head. It stands for drag race. This is an 11 degree design. This is its intake valve. This is a titanium intake valve. In case you're wondering why it's so shiny. This is CRN coated, which is a hard coating they put on it so they last longer. I highly recommend to all my customers when I buy titanium for me, I always try to sell them CRN coating or DLC because they need coating so they last long. So intake valve diameter, 2.28. Exhaust valve diameter, 1.625. That's some massive stuff. Now let's look at what it looks like from the chamber view. This is the chamber view. Um, as you could tell, pretty, pretty good size to look at. These are 11 degree heads. Now, if you notice these chambers, in case you're wondering, what is this? These are, um, CNC softened chambers. Typically it's done in power adder deal, although I've heard it helps in NA stuff. I haven't tried on any NA motors, but I've sold a ton on power adder stuff, but most people are using power adders nowadays anyway. So anyway, in case you're wondering what that is, that's what this is. Now these are heads are CNC ported, but it also looks like um, some handwork's been done. Because if I look real close right in here, you can barely see it down here, my lighting sucks. Right there, that is a weld. There you go. So it's been welded. If I look through here, you can see, looks like cartridge roll, okay? Now I did not do the work on these heads. I don't know what company did. But I will be flowing and I'll post results, but I thought you'd see it. One other thing to look at is, let's look at the exhaust side. This is also very different from your regular LS head. Look at the exhaust bolt pattern. This is not normal LS head bolt pattern, but it is an LS head. So uh, there's your pad. These say, I looked into this information and it says they will take up to a 1660 spring, which is huge. So anyway, we're going to put them on a the flow bench and see what they do. Okay, so here are your flow numbers. Uh, you can tell where it says intake and exhaust and it has the lift points, point one all the way to one inch of valve lift. Um, it's kind of a weird head to be honest with you, but it is the highest flowing LS head I've had on the bench. It actually outflows any small block Chevy head I've ever had on the bench too. So before that, the previous record was held by a, uh, for a small block, uh, either LS or small block Chevy was held by a 13 degree deal that went uh, from a small block Chevy that flowed 422 and then an LS7 from Brodix. But this one beats them both by a bunch. So it flows 442. Now, this and the exhaust side really good too. This is without exhaust pipe too and on a 4155.4. Now, this is on my Sanya's bench. I'm getting ready to flow it on the Superflow. For the record, the Superflow usually reads about 10 CFM higher, but we'll find out. I'm gonna flow it and I'll have the numbers here as well. So, just to give you an idea, here it is all set up. And get ready to flow it on the Superflow. So how do you think it did on the Superflow? Well, a little bit better. Here's the numbers. So like I said, it's about 10 CFM better than what the Sanya's bench flows. I mean, well, it if you look at the readings between the two bench, the Superflow typically flows about 10 CFM more, at least that's what a reading is. I didn't change anything, just switch the plate and put it on the other on the head from one bench to the other. That's what you got. Still very stout. 451 CFM, almost four well, 452, might as well call it that. The low lift numbers though, I have to say if you, and I don't really care about one, two or three, but if you look at the 400 number, that 264, the previous head I just did was an AFR 235 that I had ported for a customer. And it's a small block Chevy head. So a 23 degree valve angle, 2125 valve. It flowed 269 at 400. And this head with the way bigger valve, lesser valve angle, um, flowed worse than that 23 degree head at 400. Now, of course, after that, it's all over, but crying, but um, this head's a pretty racy head. 
So it does hold the record for the highest flowing Alice head I've had on the bench. So maybe someday someone will beat it, but this is also a pretty rare hair. So I don't know if anybody will ever see another one like this, but hope you liked this uh, video. Um, I'll try to do others as other heads come in. Take care.